Welcome back everybody on Ark Survival Ascended on Scorched Dirt as you can see right there. Um, I think it's pre pretty obvious what we're doing here. Sorry about that. Uh, today on everything you need to know, we will be talking about uh, the rock golem or rock elemental column as you want. So I'll show you how to tame them, uh, the trap you need, where to find them, what they look like uh, when they hide as rocks. Um, I will also show you what you can do in terms of abilities, uh, uh, I can't say this word, abilities and attacks, so that, that will be part of the video, uh, what you get when you harvest them, and every other thing you need to know. So first of all, I will just say they are not readable, you can clone them, that will cost a lot, of course it will depend on the levels or the golem, and yeah. So now let's go for the thing, but first of all, where can we find them? So where to find your golems is right there on your spawn map. Uh, this spawn map is from Arc Unity. Go check out, it's an art website, really useful. Um, so yeah, they spawn all around the mountains, um, not in the desert, like not in the dunes. They don't spawn in the wyvern trench, so yeah. Most of the time in the mountains, like it at high places, and as you can see, almost everywhere on the map. That's it. So when your rock golem is uh, hiding in a rock, it will be looking like this. Um, little rock, normal rock. It doesn't look that different to the other one, but it's actually there's only golems that look like this, and this is my own golem tamed one so you can just make your own golems look like rocks you just go on there st like stay on E old E and here you go this go this this guy is, is rock you hold it you move and it will go down now they take some time to transform in rocks now you need to make a trap for this trap you will need three um, triangle metal foundation or like they're called quarter foundations whatever the name uh, now for them you will need six walls uh, you can change them like put it in door frames it doesn't change anything like just walls because in ascended it's all the same thing uh, you will need three quarter walls or railings it's the same thing just use railings uh, because we won't use quarter walls uh, you need one cannon of course uh, a couple of cannonballs you will also need um, three gateways. Uh, you can change your gateways by pillars. Not a good idea. You can use stone foundations, stone like structures, to tame your rock golem. But uh, your rock golem will be damaging your your structures. So make sure to have like more than uh, one set for the for the trap. So that's it. Now let's go for the taming. Alright, now it's time to trap our rock golem. So when you find it, mine is right there, you'll need to build a trap, of course. So you go like this, one triangle foundation, you know, one, two, you only need three. Then, uh, this this is gonna take a bit longer, you can just do it with more foundations, but that's with, with the less. So here you go, three foundation, then you back up a little bit, you go right there. Uh, in the middle as much as you can so that's it all right so then you put walls whatever you want you can put like door frames it doesn't change anything it's the same price so one two three here one two three also then you go to your railings not quarter walls it will be useless so you go to your railings one nope you'll need to take this one off so hold it out again uh, all right. I was saying one, two, three. One, two, three. This can happen. You see, just take everything back. So you go one. Now let's. You can just use Q. It should move it. Nope. Because arc ascended. All right. So we'll put this one. And yeah, here we go. That's better. So here's our, our uh, railings, walls and stuff, so let's put our cannon, here you go, uh, we'll just take some of that, not die, you go up by one, two, 
three, four. This should work with four. It depends, of course, on the position of your golem and a lot of stuff will depend. So that's that's on you to aim. So you go with your gateways. One, two. You could go with pillars. You could do with anything else. Just that will keep him in. Uh, don't make him. Don't make them too close because the rock golem will be glitching and going through the gateways like over them. So have enough space for him. So that that's a trap. It's easy as that. It doesn't cost a lot. So here we go. Now let's um, make the gun. All right. Let's make him angry. He should throw a rock at some point. Yep. That will be his first attack. And of course, be aware all the way uh, every time of the like the bounce the bounce of the rocks uh, because they will bounce. Here we go. You're, here you're safe. It's it's good. Now our golem is stuck, just go behind him, put a gateway, so he's really stuck, he will not go out. Have your cannonballs, and we will eye a little bit more up. So, just now, he will throw it like this, just to be sure, here you go. Now just shoot him in the face, it's easy as that. Normally, if you have no stack mode, you just need to reload it every time. So wait when you throw this when you do an attack. Wait for him to be st steady, like to not move. So here we go. Another one. I don't even know the level of this one. Uh, it will. Here we go. It's out. Now that it's out. Oh, level four. Now that it's out, you need to feed him, of course. So I would consider uh, that's the best thing to have. Extraordinary kibbles. These will tame him as fast as you uh, as it can, like the fastest possible way um, sulfur is the other best way but it will be longer and uh, I would like if you if you don't have kibbles of course go for that but like um, yeah go you can use sulfur if you don't have kibbles and here we go our thing is knocked out our rug golem is knocked out 100% effectiveness taming now you just need to let him wake up so that's it about the taming, it's easy as that, no, here we go, let's wake up. Of course, the amount of um, cables or sulfur will depend on the level and your stats. So yep, it's easy as that, no no more complicated things, it's really easy, you don't need to like cover the head uh, like before to make him um, not like have splash damage at his feet, now you just need to shoot him in the face, It's it's really like... It's it's different. It it's make it makes the game easier. So now just pick up your track, your trap, and you have your rock golem. And yep. Yeah. Now let's go to the next part. Now let's talk about the abilities and attacks of the rock golem. So first of all, you have your left click, which is this attack. It's just it's a smash. Uh, it doesn't do knockback, except like if it's a dead, like if you kill it and it flies away. So that's that's it. You can spam this one, left attack, like this. Here we go. Um, we have our right click, which is throwing a boulder. Here we go, like this. Uh, it will do more damage. You can also spam it, like this. Boom, boom. Yeah. And this one does knockback. Uh, I think that's different from the old A, from the old arc. But now, if you like aim like this. Your boulder will go directly on the dino, so it has an aim assist now. Uh, and like, of course, these attacks are like AOE a bit, except this one. Or yeah, this one is direct hit, and maybe if you're lucky, you could hit like two targets like this. You can they rebound off each other. Your rock can rebound on the Rex and go on the other one. And if you want your real AOE attacks, you press on C, and here you go. This one does. Like it's every attack you can spam them and it will be it will do a big AOE attack. Uh, yeah, so it's use it's useful, but like it does less damage than this one. And uh, like if you can just place well, you can hit both of these. But it does um, it doesn't even do a like a knockback. So this attack is pretty useless. Like it looks cool. Like if you get attacked from behind. Uh, you can use it, but other like 
for any other situation I don't really see the use of it the your best attack will be uh, the boulder throw like this you go boom boom you kill this one like you want to throw him off a ledge here you go uh, maybe not it doesn't do this much knockback but like it's it's pretty good and just okay uh, yeah the aim assist aims dead bodies so harvest them just go like this okay yeah of course you cannot like just abuse of the throw uh, it can bug because it's ASA of course so try to like have a bit of aiming by yourself and it will throw it on your enemy so here we go that's pretty much it about the attacks for the rock elemental all right now let's talk about everything it can harvest so first of all um, stone sand uh, if you watch them and just saying their weight is not incredible this one is a bad level of course uh, but yeah don't like you can use them as farmers but all of these resources have as better farmers for them like uh, stone and sand you have doez uh, you can also farm wood and a bit of thatch um, of course here my stats are a little bit boosted I think it's time 5 uh, for the harvesting uh, yeah that, that's pretty much it about like these things um, so in general your rock alarm will be able on ASA will be able to farm like for now will be able to farm stone, sand, charcoal, clay, sulfur, raw salt, wood Raw meat, raw fish meat, raw prime meat, hide, chitin, keratin, organic polymer, oil, pale, raw prime fish meat, and thatch. Uh, yeah, for on the ASC or later on on ASA when we will have um, the Genesis Part 2 DLC, you'll be able to farm mutagel. So for the raw salt, uh, it will be in crystals in the dunes, you can find them, maybe there's at some other places on the map. Uh, you can find these in videos or whatever, the site, Arc Unity again. Um, charcoal, I think there's dead like trees you can farm, uh, at least on center they should be when it will be released in uh, June. And they will have some on crystal isles, not sure for the rest. Um, yeah, and the clay, it's, I don't know if there's, there are any on Scorch, but there will be like, s uh, like small uh, clay things on uh, on Iraq. So now, now let's spawn Aragon. Uh, so, to make you see, uh, like, what, what you can harvest from them. So, no, okay, chill out. Alright, so. Now we have our dead goal, just harvest them. They will give you everything on the left, like this. So they will give you crystal, metal, oxygen, oil, stone, and sulfur. The sand it was from the rocks like nearby and won't give you this much rock. This is because like I will I'm harvesting the rest of it. So that's it about everything that's harvestable and stuff. And also saying uh, your rock golem will be able to walk underwater uh, if you go on other maps because there's not enough water on this one. Um, I think that's pretty much shit about the rock elemental. There's nothing else I can think. Of. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, how could I forgot this one? Um, the rock elemental is a good soaker. Uh, you know what? I'll show you that right there. All right, now let's talk about soaking. So the rock golem, rock elemental is. Uh, not the best soaker because first of all your head like, can be just shot you can shot the character right there it's uh, you're not hidden uh, the rock column without the saddle I know it's 50 as 50% damage reduction uh, you cannot make boost them so compared to the stego the stego have a 75% damage reduction of course there's stuff with the saddles the UD buff and stuff uh, the rock golem is big and is not so fast and doesn't have a lot of stun, but it has a better health uh, health pool. So yeah. Now these I, I cannot like abandon the turrets. I don't know why, but like. Um, so basically, when you want to soak normally, you go like this, head down, and you go backwards. So your character won't take damage, and it will be only the golem to take damage. Uh, 
so yeah, that's pretty much it about the soaking for uh, your rock golem, and that's pretty much it at all with rock golems. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.